Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, in about two and a half days, the fourth edition of the uh, Dokkan Now program will be dropping, at which point we will all find out the identity of this year's Saiyan Day unit, along with a look at the animations and the kit. So of course we're all super excited for it, and we'll be doing a live uh, watch party slash reaction to it on the channel. Definitely stay tuned for that. But, before any of that happens, Earlier this morning, the very highly respected uh, French data leaker I seriously on Twitter posted a few cryptic messages on his timeline. The first one was Yurob, and the second one was Wemser Heck. Now, just like I'm sure a lot of you guys are maybe a little bit confused, everybody was trying to figure out exactly what this meant. I mean, of course, it's kind of gibberish, but. Whenever I seriously tweet something, people in the Dokkan community pay attention because he's been pretty much 99.9% .9 accurate on these, uh, I don't want to say predictions because they're really not predictions. Like It feels like he has some kind of connection to somebody over at Akatsuki and Bandai. So uh, the leaks, right? Like he's been on point on a lot of leaks in the past. So. People are like, you know, we're close to Saiyan Day, it must be something related to Saiyan Day. And as it turns out, this is actually uh, an encrypted message, okay? He used a very basic encryption method that's called a Caesar Cipher. I'm not really like an encryption guy, so I have to look this up, but it's called a Caesar Cipher. And essentially the, the way it works is that you just count back in the alphabet for each letter a, a certain number of letters. So. Uh, Carrie here, DPC Carrie, has explained it. For the first message, Yurob, each letter is three times back or three steps back in the alphabet. And if you do that for this uh, word here, it becomes Broly. And then for the Wemser Heck here, you count back four letters in the alphabet and it becomes Saiyan Day. So essentially, what it seems like I seriously is trying to tell us is that the Saiyan Day unit this year is in fact going to be a Broly, which obviously was a um, very popular choice by a lot of people. It was essentially between uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, some people wanted Super Saiyan God Vegeta, I didn't think that was super likely, um, maybe King Vegeta, because people were like, oh there's a pattern, you know, at first it was uh, I think UI Goku, like three years back, and then we got uh, Vegeta, and then last year we got Bardock, so it must be Vegeta's dad, right? So I was like, I don't think King Vegeta honestly is like popular enough of a character to get his standalone, like a standalone Dokkan Fest or whatever, but that would have been cool too. But uh, Broly was, I think, the by far most speculated character. So, I mean, I don't want to say this is confirmed because it's not 100% confirmed until we get the Dokkan Now program until we get a data download, maybe before that, or something like that, but, um, you know, I seriously has very rarely missed, I think he's missed like one time since I started following him, like a couple years ago, so, uh, I trust it, man, I trust it, and that, once again, it's not 100%, but there's a 95 to 99% chance that Broly will be this year's Saiyan Day unit. Now, the question becomes, which Broly? Because there are quite a few options, right? I mean, we can take a look here on the Dokkan Wiki. It could be, in theory, a kid Broly. It could be a base Broly. And if it's a base Broly, is it Dragon Ball Z Broly? Or Dragon Ball Super Broly? There's Wrathful Broly. There's a Super Saiyan Broly, once again, Z Broly, or a Super Broly. We have Full Power Broly from Super. We have the legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and uh, we also have Bio Broly. Maybe it's Super Saiyan 3 Broly. It's probably not going to be Super Saiyan 3 Broly, but it's there's a chance, like a tiny, tiny chance. And also, of course, we have Super Saiyan 4 Broly, or it could be Broly with somebody else, right? It could be Broly with chi -Lai, it could be Broly with Paragus. Um, there's just a lot of different options. So just the fact that you know I seriously posted this like encrypted message that says Broly Saiyan Day, doesn't really tell us too much about the identity of the uh, unit still, right? It could be a combination of characters. It could be any one of these forms of Broly. It could be the OG Broly, or it could be 
the new Broly. So, um, I guess that will have to wait until the actual Dokkan Now program. As I said, guys, we're only two and a half days away. Actually, less than that. Probably like two, two point three days away or something like that. So, uh, definitely look out for the scheduled stream. We will watch it together live. It's going to be awesome. Try to be there if you can. And um, I'd be okay with either of these Brolies, to be honest, man. I mean, I've long said I do prefer the new Broly, mainly because I like the character more, right? I like his personality more. I like how there's just a character development in the movie compared to the uh, original Broly's arc. You know, like he just was kind of just, he was kind of this like mindless berserker, which was cool because his design is awesome. Like he looks awesome. His attacks are amazing and all that stuff. And I still have a lot of love for OG Broly, for Dragon Ball Z Broly. But Super Broly is just more of a complete character. And he also looks dope too. I like his new design too. So I'm okay with either one. I really am. Like to me, the ideal character or the ideal unit would be a Dragon Ball Super Broly, okay? And it's a three-stage transforming unit. Starts from base Broly, and then uh, he will transform into Wrathful Broly through uh, probably just like after a couple of turns and like that, you know, kind of like the transforming Trunks and transforming Zamasu from the Dual Dokkan Fest a couple years ago. So after like three turns, you go to Wrathful Rath Broly, and then through an active skill, maybe the next turn, or after you meet like a simple condition, then you can use the active skill and become a uh, full power Broly. That's what I want to see. That would be the best case scenario because you can of course run this new Broly then as like a base Broly to start with, uh, you know, the full, the, uh, what do you call it? The Fizz Broly as well as the, uh, you know, legendary Super Saiyan Broly's. So that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, of course, like I said, there are a lot of options. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would prefer. Um, I've actually seen a lot of people, a surprising amount of people, prefer the Dragon Ball Z Broly because I was under the impression that most people liked the Dragon Ball Super Broly more than the Dragon Ball Z Broly. So, yeah, that was a little bit, that was a little bit surprising, but uh, I understand why people love this Broly, right? Because, like, a lot of us grew up with him, and he's still a really sick character, so... Uh, I'm cool with either one, I really am. Like, if it's the Dragon Ball Z Broly, awesome. If it's you Dragon Ball Super Broly, even better. Either way, it's Broly. Um, I hope it's not like a standalone Bio Broly, because like Bio Broly just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> you know, like his movie was just okay. And uh, he just, I don't know, man. He, he just doesn't do it for me. So yeah, best case scenario, Dragon Ball Super Broly, three stage transformation. Um, Z Broly would be great. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, to be honest, would be kind of sick too. Like. I don't think it's gonna happen. I just, I just don't. But we kind of need a Super Saiyan 3 Broly, like a good one. I mean, the EZA one's not terrible. I've said this. I do think he's a little bit underrated, overhated, if you will. But uh, he could have been a lot better. So if they want to give us a really good Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I wouldn't complain about that either. And of course, Super Saiyan 4 Broly is a monster, and he does not need a replacement anytime soon. So. Uh, yeah guys, that is, that is gonna be today's video. I wish I had more details to share with you guys, but that's pretty much it, man. This, uh, cryptic message, this encoded message from I Seriously had the entire Dokkan community going crazy this morning. And, uh, once again, just to cover my butt a little bit, this is not confirmed. It is not 100% guaranteed to be Broly. We have to wait until... We get that Dokkan Now program, but I seriously very, very, very rarely misses, if at all, you know, so uh, it's very likely at this point. Anyways, that is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger.
with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.